Hi, I'm back. I'll begin this episode with a disclaimer. I am a technophile. Ever since childhood, I'd like to take things apart and put them back together. They didn't always work afterwards, but you get the idea. In short, technology doesn't intimidate me. Um, it's, I, it's also helped that my undergrad degree was in broadcast communication back in the 70s, and I've been a part-time recording producer ever since. But nonlinear digital editing was something I'd only observed from a distance. I've seen it in action, but never seriously got my hands on it. On the other hand, I have used presentation software, aka PowerPoint, or in my case, Keynote, in all my lectures since I got my first laptop in 1999. Uh, and I, I have featured not just text bullets, but lots of elements like images and videos as well. Okay. So when the call for online instruction came, I thought the first thing I should do is transfer all my presentations to video formats so that students could either watch them on YouTube or download them from my Google Drive. But PowerPoint in Keynote is kludgy to edit video with, and recording a presentation has to be done in real time from start to finish. So nonlinear video editing, which in my case is on Final Cut Pro because I'm on a Mac, was the solution. What I like about real professional applications is that they give you very fine control over all sorts of elements. The downside is that you have to initiate practically everything. And there are very few templates like what you would find in a consumer app like PowerPoint. It's like in cooking. No? where if you need to cook fried chicken, you need to know how to butcher the chicken first. Now, I faced a very steep learning curve, so I gave myself the whole month of April to get this. Right? At first, either nothing seemed to work when I wanted it to, or these fantastic things would happen, and I didn't know how I did it. And I couldn't repeat it. No? But I kept at it every day. Uh, by the end of the month, I managed to finish four modules on the principles of music organization based on the chapter of the textbook I had revised last year. And it's a lecture that I've been giving for, what, many, 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 many years. You know? So <coughs> let me show you the program you know, and uh, what the, the very first segment that I ever edited. You know, <coughs> Let me show you. It's, um, let me get it ready on the other screen. And then, OK, this is it. Now, this is Final Cut Pro. Now, <coughs> over here, you have your resources. That means you have your video clips. Over here, you have what's called a timeline. And these are the individual elements that go into the, uh, no, the video. So you have, on one hand, you have, this is video. These are the text. No, these are texts, and down here is the music, no? and it runs. No, you see the cursor; it'll run like this way. Uh, over here is a view meter for the audio. This is the preview screen. Okay, so this is what you're getting in the actual thing, and these are some of the parameters for the video elements. Okay, now <coughs> I'm going to show you. Yeah, this was the first thing I had ever, 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 ever edited. This is um, BBC News Countdown. So <coughs> what I wanted at first was <coughs> there would be text over here in the bottom. And I wanted the image actually to be up here in a box. You know? And I wanted it to stay there. But somewhere along the line, I must have pushed some button somewhere. And it started growing. It started getting bigger and bigger and bigger until it almost covered the text. So <coughs> I tried to find out why it was doing this. So finally, after three days, take note, it took me three days to figure this out. I managed to get control over that image. You know? So much so that now I put it in the center and it grows and grows and grows and grows and grows until just before it covers the text, I take away the text. 
Okay, so this is kind of like what happened to it. Now I'm gonna run it now. Ready, set. Okay. So if you look at this, it's, it's growing very, 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 very slowly. And these are the parameters of the text. And you know that the numbers are getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay. So the image is getting bigger. And in a while, the text is going to go away because the image is going to be bigger. It's going to run into it. Okay? So this is the timeline of the text, and it's out now. And this is the video, which is still growing. And by the time this timer reaches zero, <coughs> um, the video is going to accommodate the entire screen. Okay, so <clears throat> let's get back to me now. So that, that's, that's what the program looks like. And it's, there is very, uh, it's a very steep learning curve. And if you've never seen something like this, it's going to be rather daunting. But well, you know, uh, if you're interested in things and you know, people, uh, most people are computer literate. So if you keep at it, you'll eventually get it. Okay? Let's see, back to me, okay. Now, um, <coughs> so, uh, one thing I discovered though at the very end of this is that videos take an enormous amount of storage space. Uh, I, I almost ran out of SSD space because of this and I had to transfer everything off. No. But it's really worth it because uh, <coughs> You can edit it exactly down to the millisecond as to how you want things to happen. You, know? you just have to put in the time and learn it and commit yourself and you know, be determined to do it. Okay? So <coughs> mission one was accomplished. Anytime I have to edit a video now, I can do it. You know? It took three to four days, as I said just for this thing, just for that one little segment. But as soon as I got it, <coughs> well, things went smoothly and I was able to finish the month and I had finished everything that I had to do. Okay. So, <coughs> persistence. You have to stay persistent on this. You know, uh, which you, I, I guess, you have to do with any other application. You have to just keep going at it know and practicing and making mistakes and, and trying to find the information in the internet how it's done you know which is not always correct and doesn't always apply to you but you have to keep on searching and searching and searching so you have to just keep on going until you finally understand because once you finally understand how things work then it's smooth sailing from there okay so that was mission one accomplished okay. next up streaming and that'll be in the next episode so stay tuned bye now how do you stop this thing okay <laughs> bye